I want my job back. I've dedicated my life to the city of Goodyear. Good evening. Tonight, the former Goodyear police SWAT commander who was fired in March in the wake of sexual assault allegations is fighting to get his job back. The 12 News I team was at his appeal hearing as he and his lawyer told his side of the story we first brought to you last month. The I team's Bianca Bono has more. For the first time, we're hearing from Joe Pacello himself and are learning details about the city of Goodyear's investigation that led to his termination. Former Lieutenant Joe Pacello was the number three ranking employee in the Goodyear Police Department as the professional standards lieutenant and commander of the SWAT team. In an appeal, city officials say he was fired for handcuffing, blindfolding, waterboarding, and sexually coercing fellow Goodyear police officer Jamie Cole in 2017. I literally thought that I was going to die. Pacello, who was married, had been in a secret relationship with Cole since 2015. She said days before the 2017 incident, she had gone on a date with someone else, which upset Pacello. And he started putting my head under the water when I was still handcuffed. I thought, okay, I'm really going to drown. Cole has since left the department. In August 2020, she reported the 2017 incident to her chief, accusing Pacello of sexually assaulting her under the guise of training her for the SWAT team's secret initiation tactics known internally as Hell Day. I was a SWAT operator on the, on the SWAT team, uh, participated in numerous testing processes, obviously not me physically, but me giving parts of the test. For the first time, 12 News hearing directly from Pacello as he fights for his job back, saying he had been training Cole in the gym for the SWAT team for six months because she wanted to be the first female to make Goodyear's team. In order to be able to perform what was necessary to make a truce, the, the prerequisites of SWAT testing and the selection day, uh, which I guess we've been calling Hell Day here today, um, she needed to get significantly stronger. As the 12 News I team first reported, Hell Day is the department's final secret step before joining the part-time SWAT team where recruits have been blindfolded and handcuffed, along with a variety of extreme testing. On that day in 2017, Pacello said he created his own training specifically for Cole in his house. Yes, I'm training this person for SWAT and but this is not what we do in SWAT. This is what Joe Pacello, not Lieutenant Pacello, but Joe Pacello came up with in his mind to create a training scenario to work on somebody's stress and anxiety. What Pacello said he came up with involved handcuffing Cole, blindfolding her and escorting her to his bathtub, which he had filled with ice water. He then said he told her to submerge her face in the water for 10 seconds. She put herself on the platform. Okay, so she just kind of... Uh... She, yeah, put, uh, so you would basically put your knee up and knee up. And because she had um, the handcuffs on, yeah. I was there to kind of help guide her just to make sure she didn't lose her balance as a safety precaution. At one point, he said she fell in. So she was about to fall in, at which point I then grabbed her and pulled her up and, you know, her shirt had gotten wet. After the training was over, Pacello said Jamie consented to sexual acts. For the department, Pacello's version alone was enough to terminate. Consented or not consented, there's still an issue with it. So what I'm asking you is, um, let's say it did come to light, but she said, yeah, I consented to it. Would this be an issue? Looking into the actions of what a lieutenant has Correct. done? With the training. With the Correct. training? And you're calling it training. Obviously, it's not training that we condone in the police department yet. Pacello's attorney, Catherine Bailey, arguing termination is too severe, ultimately saying Pacello deserves to get his job back. I have sacrificed my personal life to be the best officer and leader in this agency. All I want is to continue working in this profession and finish my time.
Ultimately, Goodyear city manager will decide whether to uphold Pacello's termination or give him his job back. City attorneys say the incident we just described to you isn't the only reason he was fired. Tomorrow night on 12 News at 10, we'll tell you about a second allegation involving Pacello yelling outside that female officer's house. Bianca Bono, 12 News.